Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And uh, after last year's diversion, last year, yesterday's diversion into linguistics, we will keep it Sudoku today. Um, and a debut for Rye Smith, who sent us in this puzzle called uh, No Idea. Looking forward to giving it a go. We've got we've got a lot of palindrome in the grid, apparently. So we'll have a look at that in a moment. Now we are just, what is it, six days away from releasing our new fossil hunt. That is going to be the Patreon reward for um, for February. Philip Huber is donating a toy hippo. Um, he is Philip Huber. Philip Bloomer, who is Glum Hippo, is donating a toy hippo to the prize winner. Um, but we are hoping everybody will have a go because it'll be a little easier than the last couple of hunts. Although the last puzzle isn't simple, I'll say that. Anyway, um, none of them are simple, but they are good fun and do give it a try. There, there's introductory puzzles and there's intermediate puzzles and there's a hard puzzle. Uh, so that's coming up on Patreon. Tomorrow on Patreon I will be posting up uh, my solve of Pyman's... Circling the Square, a fascinating puzzle from uh, 2004, I think. So that's going to be interesting for crossword solvers, for cryptic crossword solvers. If you're not interested in the clues, you'll be able to jump to the end and look at the denouement, the, the finish to the puzzle, which is the astonishing bit, really. Um, yeah, it's worth a look anyway. And what else have we got going on? We've got all our apps and all our merchandise, and do check it out. Uh, we will be streaming at some point again, probably Taiji, but I think that'll be around the beginning of next week somewhere now, so sorry about the delay. Right, let's have a look at Rice Smith's puzzle, which is called No Idea, and I have no idea why it's called that, but it is. Um, so... Normal Sudoku rules apply, and that means we get to put one to nine in every row, column, and box of the grid, which we like doing every day. Digits in circles, so these digits, must appear within the four surrounding cells. So these cells will be one, five, six, and seven in some order. Digits along the thermometer, that's the grey line, must increase from the bulb. So that will be bigger than that, that will be bigger than that, etc. Digits along an orange line read the same forwards and backwards. So these are the palindromes. Sometimes we have palindromes in grey and sometimes in orange, but obviously the thermo is a grey line here, so the palindromes are orange. And that means that the sequence of digits coming from this end of this line will be the same as the sequence coming from this end. So those two will have to be the same, for instance. Do give it a try on the link under the video. You may judge, perhaps, from the video length, how hard I will have found it. I hope that's the right tense. Bit of future perfect there. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. And, well, with a palindrome puzzle, there is always the possibility, especially with long palindromes, of nine, uh, nine color coloring, which I don't love to do if we can avoid it. Okay, I think what I'm going to do instead, I don't think this diagonal is going to help, perhaps even until the very end. The thermo, I could, I probably will mark that in a moment. What I'm going to mark first is I'm going to pencil mark these quads because some of them are on palindromes and that's going to give me something to pencil mark at the other end of the palindrome. Or oh, so actually what I need to do is establish where the middles of the palindromes are. Yeah, I'm gonna to have to just boringly count. One, two actually what I might do is on the version of the puzzle that I put up for you to solve, I might mark the middle of the palindromes with a small dot or something, just so you know where it is. One, two, but I'm going to count them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, up to there. So from the other end of the same palindrome, what have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve to there. So one, two, three, one, two, three. That is, those digits are the same at the kind of 
hub of this palindrome. Actually, that's quite useful because that one is one of the marked cells. So we get one, two, seven, or nine there. Well, actually, that's quite interesting because these three are the same as those three. And... I don't know, it's not, it's not that good. One of these two must appear in that column and therefore, well, both of them do appear in that column and therefore those two appear up here and one of them must get on the line again but all that means is it's here, so I don't know. So I'm going to just leave those as the centre of that palindrome on this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, those two are the same and are the centres of that palindrome. So again, I can mark one, two, seven or nine here. Now this digit is there. Oh, this is a little... Those are the same as well. So this is a little two by two. Ah, oh, OK, I'll come back to that in a moment. I want to get these marked up first of all. So wherever I did hit the palindrome. So this... Well, no, these two on the end of the line are one, five, six or seven. Then... This is number six on the palindrome, three, four, five, six. That's here, three, four, five, or eight. Oh, this is miles further on. One, two, three, four, five digits further on. One, two, three, four, five. That's here, three, four, five, or eight. Then we've got these one, two, seven, nines. Ah, oh, that two, four, eight, nine down at the bottom. Um, and on this palindrome, we've done all the ones we got marked. Okay, so. Now, that hasn't actually helped dramatically, and I'm not really shocked by that. But what I have remembered now is to think about X-wings formed by these quadruple cells. So there is a 5 in that group, and there is a 5 in that group. That's going to use up the 5s for columns 6 and 7. And that means there can't be any 5s in all of these cells, which... Is, is not thrilling information. Now, if we read across, you'll see it's eight different digits in both across quadruples. One, two, seven, nine, three, four, five, eight, two, four, eight, nine, one, five, six, seven. But I think this is going to help more. We've got a two and a nine looking down here. And that means that, that those cells are going to use the two and the nine for both columns. And that means that all of these can't have two or nine in, which is especially relevant for this pair. If they can't have 2 or 9 in, they're a 1, 7 pair. They're purple and green, so that's a 1, 7 pair. This is on the palindrome, so, sorry, on the quadruple, so this is now the 2, 9 pair. So that gives us that as well. Now, one of these will have a 2 in, and one of these vertical dominoes on this one. The other one will have the 9 in. I don't know quite if that gives us anything. Ah, now look, these two cells are the same as these two cells. Now that's quite interesting. I'm going to mark them as blue, and as a, I'm going to consider them as a pair. The thing I find interesting about that is now they can't be in those six cells, they must appear in these three, which are all on the palindrome. And where are they on the palindrome? So... That one is the 3458 that is there. And that can't be blue because it's sitting right up above both blues. Right, so that's not blue. This pair is blue. Where are they on the palindrome? Two and four away from the 3458. They're in those positions. So the blue cells are up there. Now, I know they can't have a one or a seven in these blue cells, but maybe I don't know much more about them. Which is a pity. I thought this might carry on. Yeah, it does a bit. It does a bit. Look, I know no, that none of these are blue because these can't be blue in box 8. So now by Sudoku those can't be blue, by Palindrome those can't be blue. So the two blues are in these three cells, but this one is there and also can't be blue. So those two are blue. And that means these two are blue. This is interesting now. <clears throat> Blues was a good thing to look at. 
I guess that's why they call it the blues. Um, so in this box, these can't be blue. In box four, a maximum of one of these can be blue because of that. And these cells on the palindrome are there, there, and there. Uh, I don't see a reason to rule any of those out from being blue, annoyingly. Oh, I haven't yet marked up the thermo. I was sort of planning to do that when I got stuck. I'm not really stuck, but I am going to put in the put in the numbers now. Four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I've been I looked at ones and sevens a bit, and they they got me this stuff, but it wasn't all that interesting after that. I'm tempted to try and mark all the cells in the grid that can't have a five in, but now I've started this colouring stuff and it's doing something in blue. I'm a bit reluctant to change track on that. So one of these three is blue and one of and none of the none of the others are. So one of those three is blue. And that's not these two aren't either because they're there. Oh well, no because they're straight above there. That's so uninteresting. Hmm. Can I limit? See, if I knew that blue was the same as that blue, it would be a four or an eight, but I don't see how I can do that. Oh, gosh, there's a one seven pair looking at this cell, so that's not one or seven. That's on the end of the palindrome here. Now, is it five or six? Ah, if it was... Those are the same. If they were six, I wouldn't necessarily know much about them. But if they were five, I'd know exactly... Ah, that's interesting. Right, I'm just going to colour these grey for now. If they were five... I'd know where the five would be around this quadruple, because it couldn't be in any of those. It would be there, which is position one, two, three, four, five, six on this palindrome. One, two, three, four, five, six, which would put five there. But that would clash with five here. So these are not five. These are sixes, these grey cells. There's no other six around that circle. Um... I'm going to take out the grey colouring because I don't think sixes are going to go... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's six in this box? Uh, OK, it's not there by Sudoku or there by Sudoku. It's not there by quadruples. Can it be... It can't be on the end of this palindrome because that's in the same box with another six. Oh, wait! Oh, lovely. Where's six in this box? And bear in mind that we're being told six is not blue. It's here. It's on the palindrome. That's here. OK, now we're away. These two, I bet they can't be six because their position's four and five. That's there and there. So in row five, six is here. Now it can't be... Oh, it can't be in any of those positions on the thermo. Oh, that doesn't roll much. That stops that being a five, but nothing else. See, oh, look, six is in one of these two, and they're on the palindrome. Now, where the heck are they on the palindrome? One, two, three, just outside the box. So there, or two cells on there. Well, one of those can't be a six because of column four. So that one is a six. That's there. That's not a six. Come on, sixes, keep it going. One of those two, but we know blue's not six, so six is there, and six is here on the palindrome. Bingo. So that can't be five. This can't be seven now. And all the sixes are just magically done. So, oh, that can't be six, yeah. So that's a great thing to find, but I don't, I don't really know if there was method in how we found that or whether it was just because we found two cells that had to be the same because they were on the quadruple one of them don't know just looking briefly at this no that's giving me nothing at the moment uh, 
Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do next, but I need to find something else like that, something nice and helpful. Um, I'm going to think about these ones and sevens. Which can't be blue, can they? Right. That one seven pair has to appear in this group of cells because it's not there and they can't be blue. So one and seven are in that group and in this group. Now can I take this around? Yes. They're not one and seven by Sudoku and blue can't be one and seven. So again, they're in that set. Oh, well actually that was just obvious from the two by two. Uh, this can't be one or seven because it's the same as this. These can't be by Sudoku. Now, that's interesting. So one and seven are in digits or positions two to five on this palindrome, which are, no, two, two, yeah, two to five, which are these. So one and seven are definitely within that group of cells. And I'll tell you why that's quite interesting, and that is because it means they're not in this group. So where are they in row six? Well, there's only two places. One is here and one is here. So this is a definite one of them. And this one on the palindrome is here. So that's one or seven. Now five around this quadruple has to be in one of these two. That's not a five and that's not a five. That's on the thermo. So that can't be four. I've only just, yes, I could have restricted that. That's down to one or two. This can't be one because one is in one of those group of cells. So that's a two on the thermo. Three, four there. So four, yeah, this sort of carries on. This is, in fact, three and four are now looking at that cell and five from that quadruple. So that's an eight on the palindrome in position six, which I think is here. Yes, it is. Eight there. I do need to be careful. That's on the quadruple. So we can take eight out of these cells. Ah, oh, now blue. Oh, look, it's on this. This quadruple now can't have four and eight on the top side. So it's two, nine on the top side, four and eight below. That one's on the palindrome here, four or eight. Oh, one of the, oh look, one of the blues is two or nine, and the other is three, four, or five. So, two or nine there, three, four, or five here. That's going to use both two nines up, so that is now from three, four, five, eight. So in this box, there's one two nine there, and the other one is on the blues. And that means this cell is from 3, 4, 5, or 8, because it can't be 6, 1, or 7. And now I've got a 3, 4, 5, 8 quad in the column. 8 must be on one of those two cells, which are on the palindrome together after the 6 in those cells. So one of those is an 8, and that makes this a 9 on the tip of the thermo. Um, oh, this is fascinating how this all fits together. Now, go back to this 3, 4, 5, 8 quad. 6 there. That can't be 5. And now we've positioned 5. That's a 1, 7 pair on this quad. We've positioned 5 on the quad. It's there, which unfortunately is not on a palindrome. But reading across the row, it gives us a 1 or 7 in column 2. Eight can't be in those cells. Oh, yeah, it must be in one of those two. I bet it's on the thermo because it can be two, six, eight, one, seven. That is three or five. This is not three, it's four, five, or nine. It's not nine because there's a two, nine pair in the row. So I've got a three, four, five triple. Now that one's on the palindrome. Where the heck is that on the palindrome? Two inside the eight. That's here, yes, in between the blue cells, okay. 
And the blue cells, right, one of the blue cells is 2, 9. It's not that one, because that's seeing a 2, 9 pair in the column. So that's 2 or 9. This one is 3, 4 or 5. Down here, I don't know. Here, yes, I do know. This is not 2, 9 or 4. So the 3, 4, 5 blue cell can't be 4. This one is 2 or 9. Oh, and there's another one here, and a 3, 4, 5, triple, and a 1, 7. That's an 8 in the row. And one of these two is an 8. That's not very helpful. What an interesting puzzle. Um... Right, that all started, I think, with thinking about ones and sevens. Ah, oh, uh, no. Four and eight have to be in that group, which... Two, nine, and three, five on the blues. Now, I don't see quite how to use those at the moment. Um, maybe I need to think about the end. Some some of the palindrome cells. Look, these ones haven't used them at all. Right. I'll tell you what they can't be. They can't be two nine, or six, or one seven, or eight. That's all that cell. So it's three four or five. I can rule. No, I thought I could rule another of those digits out. I don't think maybe I can. Three four or five there. That's probably not going to actually be very helpful at all. One, two, and seven. Oh, that's quite interesting. Yes, these two cells are an interesting pair. They can't be six, nine, five, three, or four, or eight. So you've got to select from one, two, and seven, and that's suddenly forming a triple here. So now, this isn't from 1, 2, and 7, and nor's that. The 1, 7 pair in box 9 is down here in the right-hand corner. That's one of 1 and 7. The other one is in the next two cells. So one of those two. Ah, can I tell which? Not sure that I can. Maybe if I was to colour all the 1, 7s, I could. But... Well, I did, of course, start colouring the one sevens, but those colours aren't going to translate anywhere because they're going to be just local to uh, these. In fact, that does ask a bit of a question about whether one can ever disambiguate them. Ah, <laughs> of course, I forgot the old uh, little killer clue. Yeah, that will disambiguate them in the end. Okay, I'm going to uncolor them because I, I I might want to use colors for something else. Oh, now I've only just realized I should have looked at this yellow color before. So these three cells contain two lots of one seven and yellow, which is obviously from two or nine. I mean, it probably doesn't advance me at this stage, to be honest. So I'm not going to bother doing anything with that. One of one or seven is here. The other one is here in column eight. So this can't be one or seven and is two or eight. Six, one, seven. What about this? Have we ever considered... Uh, it's two, it's this cell. Right, I have not thought about this yet. So I'm going to start. In box nine, it can't be six, one or seven. In row two, it can't be nine. In column 8, it can't be 3. So am I left with 2, 4, 5 and 8? Or is something more helpful going on? Ooh, I've, I'm going to put that in because I've just looked at this 2. I've only got one 2 written in the grid. But I think this might be quite helpful. Because it keeps two off those four cells, which I think are these four cells. And if none of those can be two, then two in this box is in one of those two, and this cell is a nine. Excellent. Right, now, the blue two or nine has become a two. Um, 
Um, we're going to get a 2 in blue, so that yellow is a 9. That cannot be the 9, so that is 1 or 7, and this is a 9. Let's get rid of the corner marking. Um, so 2s, go back to 2s. One of those is a 2, one of those is a 2. This has become a 2 since we marked the 2 in there. It's not here. Sorry, I don't know what. I don't know what I'm doing. Eight, right, that's better. So we've marked, oh, we get that one as well as a two. Yes, and that's really good. This becomes an eight. This becomes a seven. We've finished the thermo and box three. I can do some of the sevens and ones now. Seven there. Where's the one? Oh, where's the one in row one? It's in the corner. Where's the one in column two? It's not in blue. It's got to be here on the thermo. Yes, and that's a seven. Uh, on, no, this is not a thermo. This is a palindrome. Sorry. So six, seven, space, one. And that's going to let me fill in the ones and the sevens in box five. And box six, they're done. And I didn't need to colour them. Those I can't disambiguate till I do the little killer. And I think I've done all the other ones and sevens in the grid now. Now we are motoring. This can't be a two. That was this cell, which also can't be a two, fairly obviously. It can't be an eight now in column eight either, so it's four or five. This one can't be a five. Oh, I've got to go back to... Oh, that's... Is that this one? Oh, it can't be an 8 as well. That looks very powerful. Hang on. I've got 8 marked in one of these two cells. And suddenly I don't think 8 can be in either of these two. And that makes me think something's gone wrong. Oh, bother. Not now. Six, seven, blank, one, blank, eight. Two, four or five, three or five, four or five. How am I going to fit an eight into row two? Ah, what have I got wrong? I suspect I'm not even going to be able to unpick it this time. Something there is wrong because eights are in both columns. Oh, tarnation. Or am I... Is there any hope I'm looking at the wrong digits on the palindrome now for the first time rather than earlier? I don't honestly think there is. No, something has gone wrong, and I can see other places where it's gone wrong. Ah, let's rewind back to, I don't know, where to. I liked the chord of... That was a while ago. So back here. When I started putting in the 8s, and I decided this couldn't be a 2. So where was I? 9 there. That was quite important. Right, OK. I'm going to go all the way back to where I said 1 was in this group. And I'm not sure that was right, because maybe I forgot it could have been on the bulb of the pal of the thermo. Wow, that was a long time ago. This is ugly. What a mess. Imagine. Now, I was at this stage, and I claimed one had to be in these cells. Because... I thought one couldn't be in those because of the one seven pair, and it couldn't be in that because of the same one seven pair, so it had to be in the next four cells. I still think that's actually right. So I put a two in there. The five had been kept out of that by... Well, by what? Oh, because I'd made this a one seven pair. And I think that was right. Again, Assuming seven, yeah, seven's exactly the same deal. It had to be in those four, so it had to be in those four. 
Okay, well, I mean, I was right to this point, I reckon. I made this an 8, having been 3, 4... Can't be 5 because of those. Yeah, that was alright. 8 there. 2, 9 pair on top of a 4, 8 pair. That looks fine. Corrected my other things. How did I get this as 2 or 9? Because blue is includes a 2 or 9. Yeah, I mean, I think that was alright. So, what went wrong? Hang on. What was this 9 that appeared on the end of the palindrome, of the thermo? Because I decided 8 was in one of those two. Now, where did that come from? That came from the fact that eight's in one of these. Well, this is the salient point. Why did I decide eight was on one of those? Oh, because I thought, oh, it is palindrome misidentification. Okay, I thought that when I saw that eight had to be in those two cells, that that was these two cells on the palindrome because they're next to the six. Well, they are next to the six, but they're not that side of the six. They're these two cells. So we stop there. We don't make that a nine. We don't go wrong. We take eight out of those two. We put it into one of those two. It probably does a lot less information. It puts it in one of these two. Right. OK, my apologies. That is just palindrome misidentification always a potential issue. Now, there are things I can still do again. The 1, 7 pair and the yellow 2 or 9 are in this group, so that's not a 5. Now, I don't know where they go anymore, but I know they're in that group, and that places 5 on this quadruple. That takes 5 out of this cell, which is, let's get this right this time, which is the out, that's this one, which has now become three or four, and therefore is not eight. So my eight pencil marking is paid off immediately. We get eight there. That's looking at a different cell of the thermo. We get seven. That's not a seven, accordingly. Um, I don't think that eight's going to do... Well, there's an eight in one of... The... Oh, no, we can place eight in the box, and it happens to be on the thermo. Then, which of these three is eight? Eight is not blue, so not there. Eight is not... I'm trying to be more careful now. Eight is not in that cell, because that's that cell. So eight is here. And we do place this one seven pair, but not in the same positions I thought they were in before. We also get this as a four once we get that eight, and that must be eight. Right, that is these cells, four and eight there. Neither of these can be four. We get the four around this quadruple. On the on the palindrome, that's here, yeah, which is the only place four can go in the box now anyway. We are back to, I don't know if this is the pairs we had before, two nine in one blue and three five in the other. We get eight in row seven, eight in around that quadruple and in row six. Have we finished the eights now? Yeah, they're all done. How are sixes going? They're all done. I must, might have done that earlier. This is one or seven to complete the row. That's a two, nine, one, seven. So the quadruple. So this is three or five. And that's on the palindrome here. Yes, I'm still trying to be careful. Now this cell, I'm going to consider this probably again. 6, 8, 7, and 2, and 3 it can't be. It can't be 1 in box 6 either because of where that's confined. So I think it's 4, 5, or 9. There might... No, it's not 9 from the row where there's a 2, 9 pair. 4 or 5. There might be a way I'm able to tell it's not either of those, but I don't know what that is. Uh, these are obviously to oh look I've got a seven looking at that one seven pair probably was from when I marked it so this is a one that's on the palindrome that makes this a seven 
that lets us place one in the central box. Um, Seven. How are my ones going? Right, I can place a one in column eight. Yeah, I'm going to be able to do this because I bet we can't have we can't have a one in blue. Oh no, hang on, hang on. We can't have a one or seven in blue. So one and seven in box one, which can't be there by Sudoku, and also can't be in blue, are a pair looking down. Now this one can't be six four seven eight one. Hmm. Oh, it can't be two or nine from column three where there's a two nine pair. So it's three or five, definitely. Okay, this is going to work now. That's three or five in this row as well. It can't be four. The four is placed effectively in row six, and that is on the palindrome as long as I put it in the right place. I think the right place is here. That four is there on the palindrome. Yes, it is. Just got to triple check these things now because I don't like the mistakes any more than you do. Um, but sadly, it comes with the territory of being human. Four in column three is there. Four in column one is there. How am I doing on fours? They're all finished. Four, eight, one, six, seven. That is three or five. Still thinking that maybe the little killer is coming to the party, but not really yet, because so many of these are uncertain and 24 is not a helpful total. So, that, one of these is two nine. Oh, in fact, that's not two nine, because it's in a column with two and nine. I've done that in a previous iteration of this, of this solve painfully. That's not a 1. So it's 2 or 9. That's oh, well, that's a 2-9 pair in that box. Making this a 3. Ah, oh, I hadn't seen that. So these are a 7 and a 9. That's a 5. This one is... Oh, that's a 5. This is a 2. So the blue 2 or 9 is a 2. This is a three or a nine, but it's blue and it can't be it can't be nine anymore. So because we need one to be three or five. So blue is three and two. And we may not get a three in the corner, but we will get a three in the blue. So that's a two three pair and that's a two three pair. These are going to be resolved by the old uh, 24 diagonal as well. That's a five. We're just going to finish off everything else and then do that diagonal now, I think. Nine there. That's become a nine. That's a five. I think we can finish everything apart from those two deadly patterns. And then they're going to resolve. Oh, five on the palindrome. Well, hang on. I'm just going to read the palindrome in a moment. Read it one way and then the other and make sure it's right as I think it will be. Nine is yellow, that's right. That's where it had to be up there. That's become a five. I'm getting a bit worried. Oh, five on the palindrome, yes. That's a two, yes. Nine in this box and then three and seven. Yeah, okay, I was getting a bit worried. Well, I've got another deadly pattern up here, but this one is resolved by this quadruple. So seven, one, seven one and now we get to do well first of all i'm going to read the whole palindrome which goes six one seven nine three eight two four from the other end six one seven nine three eight two four good three five four six four eight nine three five four six four eight nine okay the long one works the short one is five six purple blue blue green so from the other end five six purple blue blue green okay so they're all good now I'm going to use the 24 little killer clue, which is the finishing off disambiguator. 14 in the uh, known cells. The other two add up to 10. They must be 7 and 3. Green is 7. 3 there. 2 there. And purple is 1. And that is the finish. Isn't it? Didn't get the tick. Didn't get the tick. Oh, no. What have I done wrong? 5 or 6. 
I haven't filled in these cells. In fact, I don't know what I did here. Something went wrong with my marking of twos and threes. So let's count the... Pal oh, it was seven and three on the palindrome. Right, sorry. There we go. And it is right. Whew. Well, one hitch in the middle when I misidentified two cells on the palindrome, embarrassingly, and had to rewind quite a long way after that went wrong. Um, but there we go. That was a nice puzzle. Not too easy, but not too difficult either, as long as you just kept alive to the various bits of logic in it. Loved it. Uh, thank you very much for watching us on the channel. As always, we are very grateful to you all and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.